I don't you know. may not know this, but Sheba loves to read, and this is not what? just tweets and Facebook. You are so sweet. Yes, I do love Picture to read, books. and there are tons of That's great books out there. So we want to help you guys find the good ones. So each month, I'll be highlighting five local authors in a new segment called Sheba Shelf. So here are my picks for April. Coming in at number five on our list is an inspirational memoir about a New Orleans mother whose teenage son is sentenced to 40 years in prison for aggravated robbery. This story is just not for the low class or for African Americans. This story is in a hole for everyone because it can happen to each and every one of us. In Mama, I Should Have Listened, a voice of pain and power, Tasha Smith Mills takes readers inside their mother-son relationship. There's a stigma that when a child goes to prison, it's always the parent's fault. Um, and here it is, he's, you know, we're in a middle class family. Um, my son had the best of everything. He was a St. Aug student and he decided to make the wrong choice. Mills' book is a page turner that captivates readers with its raw and emotional look at a mother's grief. If you're looking for a lighter read, grab a copy of 100 Things to Do in New Orleans Before You Die. One of my favorite places to go for a cocktail is the Zazerac Bar. It's so atmospheric. Again, it feels like you're in a mysterious bubble of, of glamour. Number four on our list is Beth Diodano's book. She has some great recommendations for tourists and locals when it comes to enjoying the magic that is New Orleans. Beth has been writing about New Orleans for nearly three decades, so from great drinks to ideas for a daytime adventure, she's got you covered. Up next is a collection of short stories and essays that tackle a lot of issues that young people in New Orleans can relate to. Arnold Burks writes about racism, illiteracy, and violence in his book. I wrote it because, you know, I remember wanting books that uh, talked about things I was dealing with, you know. A lot of times, you know, when you're in school, in high school, they got you reading these odysseys and these, you know, books about, you know, European, you know, stuff like that, and I, I, it had nothing to do with me. Arnold says he hopes the book gives teens in New Orleans an opportunity to connect with what they're reading. And of course, we need a good read for the little ones. Mally in the Middle tells the story of two friends from another planet who hit the wrong button on their spaceship and end up in New Orleans. The author, Jordan Sullen, is a Tulane grad and former NFL player who has worked with kids through several nonprofit organizations. He says this read is a summertime tale of two curious friends. All right, and coming in at number one on our list this month is Mia X's cookbook memoir titled Things My Grandma Told Me, Things My Grandma Showed Me. The legendary rapper was the first woman on Masterpiece No Limit record label, but these days she's spending a lot of time in the kitchen and she's sharing her recipes with us and her grandma's wisdom in this book, which we're so excited about. Thank you for being here. Hi. Hi. Hey, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> and I know that your fans love your voice. It's one of their favorite things about you. Yeah, they always say, uh, talk for me. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't know what you want me to say. You have such a good <laughs> New Orleans accent, you can say anything. So tell us about this it. book. So Things My Grandma Told Me, Things My Grandma Showed Me is a book about my relationship with my grandmother. Um, she allowed my mother to go to school. My mom was in college when she had me, it was her last year. So she allowed my mom to finish college and she raised me. She had a real potty mouth. <laughs> she was so a character that's why from all what my I read. Raps yeah. Are so dirty. <laughs> but she said a lot of profound things. And my friends was like, you know, after my mom passed in 2001, they was like, you need to write a book about her because she said stuff that we just can't believe. Sure. So, uh, one of the things was, baby, your heart don't care how stupid yeah. you look, it just knows what it feels. That's why your common sense have to have your heart back. I love it. You know, and that's when I was stuck on stupid, crying about relationships. Yeah. You know, and she said she'd rather have a second job than a wet tail from a poor man. Oh my <laughs> goodness, these sayings are everything. Okay, so what are you making for so us today? I am making jambalaya. What? It is something that she taught me how to make. Okay. And what I did, I chopped up some onions, some garlic. I chopped up a red, an orange, a yellow, and a green bell pepper for color. Great. Some fresh parsley. And so we just gonna get it to going in a pot. Okay, get it going in there. And we have mm -hmm. lots to talk about while you cook this, so just keep yes. on cooking. So you've been doing pop-up shops lately, I understand. Yes, yes. You Tell can, me about it. You can catch me on Fridays at the Pythian. It has been so awesome. Oh, how cool. I've been doing um, a lot of Creole soul food over there. 
And it's been really, really, really awesome. Wonderful. I mean, awesome. Good. And then on the music front, what's going on there? So I'm about to do a soundtrack for the book, actually. No way. Yes. That sounds like so much fun. It's about to be fun for me because it's like part my life and part entertainment. Seriously, and this book is so unique because it's cookbook, memoir, and now it's going to have a soundtrack. What book yes. has a soundtrack? Right. You're taking it to and the next level. It's all my tea in that book. I'm oh really my spilling God. my tea. <laughs> I'm so excited for the soundtrack I'm to the really book. I'm really spilling my tea. And then you've got tea. an announcement about Essence you wanted to make. Yes. So I, PJ Morton is actually doing a live recording of his um, album, Gumbo, and I am a part of that. Hello. So Essence Fest, I will be hitting the stage with PJ and it is going down. Oh my goodness, that's so exciting. And yes. finally, talk about your mentoring with young girls very quickly. So. Um, there's a group called Outstanding Mature Girls, and um, they started in Baton Rouge, and when they started out in Baton Rouge, um, they grew across Louisiana to like 800 strong. Mm -hmm. And um, I said, we needed a chapter in New Orleans, you know, so... You kicked it off. Yes. Awesome. And You're today we are having a meeting. Community. You know, moms, I want them to bring their girls out. Um, we are all about mentoring and leadership, shit, uh, leadership skills uh -huh. and, you know, self esteem, just everything. All right. We're about that. You do so much great for the community. We're so excited you're here. For more information about Mia X's book, which is called Things My Grandma Told Me, Things My Grandma Showed Me, and the full list of books in this month's spotlight, you can log on to our website. We put the link you need at wwltv.com. Just click on links. Dave?